Hello everyone. Uh, I'm really excited to be here today with you to tell you how you can migrate your data platform and your data warehouse to Google GCP BigQuery and why those migrations have become much simpler with the announcements that we've made today. So I am Mohit Gurendra. I am part of the product management team at Google Cloud. And today we are going to talk about how we can simplify migrations, your data warehouse migrations to BigQuery. So first of all, why should you move to Google's data cloud? Why should you move to BigQuery? Well, Google's data cloud uh, is a very rich ecosystem which enables customers to drive limitless innovation and unlock the value of your data via its robust offerings under a single unified interface. And BigQuery is the core analytics engine of Google's data cloud. Now, with BigQuery migration service, you can reduce your time, cost, and complexity of data warehouse migrations. BigQuery migration service is Google's free managed end-to-end -end service that we are announcing today. So why are data platform migrations so challenging? Well, here are a few reasons. No two data platforms are the same, so there are a lot of nuances. How, do you, how often do you migrate data platforms? Not very often, so building a set of core competency in that is hard, given the, the variability in the system. So what you need is a set of consistent tools to help guide the migration and make the outcomes more predictable. So here, as you can see in the slide, migrating data workloads involves really labor-intensive, error-prone, and time-consuming steps. You know, you likely iterate on each of these steps multiple times. These steps, they include system setup, query translation, schema analysis, and migration, moving the upstream pipelines, moving the downstream uh, applications, copying the data, migrating business applications, verification, validation, and performance optimization. So as you can see, uh, even in this uh, logical view of how a migration should look like, there are so many steps and there is potential for so much variability. So what happens is uh, across migrations or you know, when, you, when you start migrating your data platform, uh, you run into variable, uncertain steps, and a lot of unpredictable results. So what we have done is we have tried to break down the migration part into two constructs. So one is uh, pieces that pertain directly to your data warehouse, and the other are components that are part of migrating your broader ecosystem. So we're gonna be focusing on the data warehouse migration components today. So what happens is with the query migration service, your migrations are simplified via customizable end-to-end -to -end tools. So now, as you can see, we have a framework which addresses each of the components of data warehouse migration via specific tools. These tools are highly configurable, they're automated, they are free to use, so the cost for you to migrate is much lower, and they produce predictable, consistent results. So we are pleased to announce the BigQuery migration service, which drastically simplifies migrating data warehouses from legacy systems to BigQuery. And again, just to emphasize, BQMS enables end-to-end, -end, fast, lower risk, lower cost migrations with consistent, predictable results. Let's jump right into it. So we're announcing a couple of things. First, we're announcing comprehensive end-to-end -end migration offerings for moving your data warehouse from Teradata and Amazon Redshift. These offerings include assessment, which generates a migration plan for you, which provides you with how should you manage your migration. It tells you how to optimize your migration. It also tells you about the costs uh, to migrate. It tells you how much of your code will be automatically translated and how much of it will be 
runnable on BigQuery right out of the box once you've gone through this migration process. It also tells you volume of your data warehouse, existing data warehouse, what will it take to migrate that? And it also identifies the potential risks and the uh, potential blockers uh, in migrating your data warehouse. So it gives you a very informed set of uh, data which you can use then to migrate the code as well as the data pieces of your data warehouse. So that's assessment. Uh, with automated SQL translation, uh, we are announcing the capability, industry-leading capability, to translate uh, SQL code from Redshift and Teradata. It's a very deep, rich, compiler-based approach. And so it produces a high degree of automated conversion once run. Uh, we are also announcing data migration and validation of the artifacts post-migration. And more of these are coming soon. So again, this is a big announcement. This is a comprehensive end-to-end -end offering for migrating uh, your data warehouses from Teradata and Amazon Redshift to BigQuery. What we're also announcing is industry-leading automated SQL translation, which is often the most complex part of migrations from more than 10 sources. So let me talk about this a little bit. SQL translation is often considered the most difficult part of any migration. It's now available as an automated offering with industry-leading capabilities. And again, this is free. And oftentimes, this is just at the push of a button. So BQMS can intelligently translate SQL statements in human-readable format across a wide breadth of SQL flavors. In batch and Google Translate-like interactive modes, it's very cool, actually. Left to right, left you put in your source SQL, and I have a slide on this. On the right, you will see translated BigQuery Google SQL. Now, unlike most existing offerings, which parse regular expressions, BQMS SQL translation is true compiler-based with advanced, customizable capabilities to handle macro substitutions, user-defined functions, output name mappings, and a bunch of advanced features. So these translations, as a result, are smart because they are source context aware and customizable based on how your data existing data warehouse code is written. And they also have very intuitive next actions oriented prescriptive output. This is really powerful. So again, we are announcing industry leading automated SQL translation for all of these sources, which include Amazon Redshift, Apache Hive, Apache Spark, Azure Synapse, Netiza, MySQL, Oracle, Presto, Postgres, Snowflake, SQL Server, Teradata, and Vertica. This is unprecedented in terms of tooling to be able to migrate your SQL code and associated code artifacts. Please try it out. Hundreds of customers have already used BigQuery migration service. And these are customers with some of the largest and most complex legacy warehouses. They've successfully used BigQuery migration service to migrate and modernize their data platforms with BigQuery. And our open and customizable approach with BigQuery migration service allows you to pick the right migration partners of choice and still benefit from the cost, risk, and time reductions. So these are some of the partners. We have a whole lot of other partners. Uh, Room only permitted listing a few of them. But please reach out to us or reach out to any of these partners. And any migration partner can leverage BQMS leading SQL translation capabilities to automate the biggest chunk of work in your migrations. They can use other components of BQMS to accelerate your migration, to improve the time to value for you. Let's go over these components real quick. So assessment, as I said, it helps build a migration plan. It guides the users through a set of steps using an intuitive interface. The user creates an assessment, specifies where metadata and logs are for the assessment to build the migration plan. 
uh, or optionally provides uh, the location in GCS or on your source machine. And with a couple of configurations, BQMS automatically generates a report in Google Data Studio, and this is a rich report. This is detailed insights, as I said, for minimizing migration risk and cost and for optimizing the migrated state on BigQuery, and this is very powerful. So things like, what are the risks during the migration process? Can I trust the migration? Are the risks adequately mapped? And are the risks adequately identified? Um, what are the characteristics, peculiarities of my existing system? So how many databases do I have? How many tables, SQL objects? How many tables are users not wasting? What is table waste? What are the sizes? What is Who are the main users? What are the tools that will be impacted? What will be the cost to migrate? And then uh, it also helps with moving applications with minimal disruption. So what's the complexity of MySQL queries to convert? How much of the SQL can be converted automatically? How much effort is required to convert the remaining parts? All of this is made of is made available via assessment. It's a very powerful tool. The next piece, as we briefly talked about, is SQL translation. This is, again, often considered the most challenging, most difficult part of the migration. EQMS's SQL translation, as I said, is true compiler-based and has advanced capabilities to customize. On the left-hand side, you see a view of what batch translation looks like. Uh, this is the powerhouse of translation, of, of translating huge amounts of workloads, massive workloads. On the right-hand side is an awesome tool called Interactive Translation. This is, again, a Google Translate-like functionality, which allows both uh, data engineers and data analysts alike to, A, actually translate workloads and see what the output of translating some of the queries would be, and B, it also helps as a great learning tool. So for analysts in particular uh, who want to better familiarize themselves with BigQuery, this is an awesome learning tool. Remember uh, that this is an industry-leading uh, technology, and this is extremely powerful. It factors in most of the customizations, most of the nuances that your source systems will have. OK. Um, the other pieces that we are announcing today are data migration and validation. So data migration is essentially moving data from your existing system to BigQuery. Now users create a transfer configuration, choose a data source from the drop-down list. It's very easy to use. The reason I'm showing this is that you know, all of these components are available via the UI, the friendly UI that you see here, via CLI, and via direct calling of the API. So, both migration, data migration, and validation are also highly customizable and very powerful tools. Moving on, um, just summarizing what is BigQuery Migration Service. So BigQuery Migration Service is a framework, is a suite of tools that enables free, fast, and comprehensive migrations to BigQuery. You can reliably plan your migrations using assessment with detailed insights on cost and risk minimizations and information on steady state and optimizations once migrated to BigQuery. You can automate most of the SQL translation, most of the times at just the push of a button, getting semantically correct, intelligent, human-readable translation at scale from most of the major data warehouses. Uh, and finally, you can migrate data at scale and validate it, again, with minimal friction. So what is BQMS doing? BQMS is drastically reducing human errors and potential data inconsistencies, while also removing the arduous task of manual code conversion. So why should you use BQMS? You should use it, first of all, because it's completely free. It's free for you. It's free for Google's partners to help you with your migrations. It provides much higher accuracy uh, and consequently requires much less human involvement. So you can direct your precious human resources or people to doing the tasks that really matter to you. Because it is built using the same technology stack as BigQuery, it provides really consistent results. It also provides clear next steps 
and it eliminates most of the guesswork out of the migration of your code, your data to BigQuery. So all, with all of this, you can focus more on parts that cannot be automated. And you can have your engineers and your analysts focus on those parts, and you can get to value faster. Most complex migrations, as we saw earlier, they leverage BigQuery migration service. You can try out the Big BQMS, the BigQuery migration service, via the UI, CLI, or API. And to try it out, do contact, either reach out uh, to your Google partner, Google CE, or your Google TSO member, or just go ahead, go to the console, and give it a try. And you can learn more about BigQuery Migration Service at this link right here. Thank you very much.